the bill is perspective, and it directs you uh, from here on when you are leasing or renovating to be sure, and it focuses on women. So I don't think that's going to be a problem, even if they have a majority of women in a facility, because it is perspective, and you will adjust based on what the need is. So I don't think that's going to be a problem. I want to welcome all of you, and particularly uh, Ms. Pratt, it's good to see you again, uh, our female leader of uh, our nation's capital. Uh, I want to tell you the reason why it's imperative that we have equal access to restrooms. I'm going to refer back to the California legislature and the Senate. When I was elected in 1978 to the California State Senate, I was only the second woman. The first one was elected in 137 years. To be present in the Senate for a vote, you have to be on the red carpet. When the first woman uh, in the Senate was elected, her name was Roseanne Vuj, after 137 years, there was no restroom available on the red carpet. So if she were somewhere else using a restroom out in the public hall, she could not be counted for the vote. So when they found out she had won, they had to take a reprographics room and change it into a restroom. It was small, like a, a closet. And they never put women or ladies. They just put a rose up. It was the rose room. Now here I come, a year and a half later. And uh, my name is not Rose. <laughs> when I needed to go to the restroom, I would have to go to her to get the key. Now, they were renovating the Capitol. We had a major earthquake, and they had to renovate the Capitol. When they completely redid it, guess what? There was no women's restroom, Dr. Anthony, because there were only men who were architects. And when we said, you know, you don't have a women's restroom on the red carpet, they said, oh, we didn't think of it. So thank God we have you there. Uh, you know, I always thought that women should design kitchens and restrooms. And you can think about that. But uh, so we brought it to their attention. They took a supply room and they changed it into a women's restroom. And we said, you know, we need a place to shower. You know, we needed to have equality with what the men had. And we had to take them step by step all along the way. Because if you have to excuse yourself and a vote came up, you could not vote unless you were on the red carpet. So it was a matter of legally participating in our elected responsibilities. And so there is a justification, and in federal buildings, absolutely. So we need to modernize our thinking. There should not be a question. We don't need another study. Studies just delay a particular decision. We need to get about passing this bill, and I would recommend, Mr. Chairman, that we don't need any more testimony, any more questions. Let's process this bill. Thank you very much. Yield back. Let me thank, let me thank, let me thank the gentlewoman from California for her statement, of course, and uh, we look forward to working with you to uh, make this a reality. And of course, um, let me say to you, Commissioner Peck, you know, we will continue to talk with you and, uh, uh, as we move forward. Uh, but the point is that um, uh, we really want to move this legislation uh, forward. And of course, um, um, you know, there's a thing called amendments. If we think that, you know, uh, it will strengthen it, you know, but not to weaken it, you know, we want to do that. And I think that, uh, as I indicated, I think there's some things that we might need to do as we move along. But we will have dialogue. But we really, really want to get this done. And I also want to thank the um, ranking member for his work on it as well. And um, 
uh, this time around, uh, we hope to be able to move it all away and it be will become law. I want to thank you, Dr. Anthony, for all of your work. I want you to know we followed it, and uh, you have really, really, really spent time, and you know, and uh, and you sort of kept this in the forefront. And I want you to know that uh, we appreciate you know your work, and of course, uh, Ms. Pratt, for your work, and as the only female ever to be mayor of Washington, D.C., we thought it was important to have you as a witness because you've seen it, you know, uh, and uh, from, from that point as a um, leader in the city and, of course, with all these federal buildings, you know, in terms of um, the situation. And I think that all of you have had uh, experiences that you probably don't want to share. You know, um, the, I'm sure, you know, uh, I was talking to one of our colleagues and she indicated to me, she says, yeah, do it, move it forward. She said, because I went into the men's room. She said, because, shoot, I, I, I couldn't wait. So I'm sure there's a lot of stories like that where, you know, women have gone into the men's room because I know I was at a football game and some lady ran into the men's room. So, I mean, I, you know, I, I, so I can imagine there are others, uh, you know, that have done that. And I think that the time has come that when we really need to move this legislation forward. And, of course, uh, again, thank you for your testimony. And I look forward to further input, you know, from you as we move forward. And I agree with my colleague. We don't need a whole lot of studies. <laughs> I think this thing has been studied. And I think that uh, the fact that uh, there is a change in the workforce, uh, we need to recognize it. Not only is a change in the workforce, uh, there's just more women in the country than men. There are more female babies born than male babies. Uh, women live longer than men, you know, uh, you know, and uh, all of these things are factors that we need to just sort of take into consideration and move forward with this legislation. I want to thank you again for your testimony, and this committee now stands adjourned. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Give it a go. Thank you very nice to meet you, too. I enjoyed your remarks, both of you. Likewise. Thank you very much. Nice to be with you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, one of the one of the questions that I. Did